Since the time of antiquity, there have been seven wonders of the ancient world that have captivated humanity. These wonders have been spoken of in awe and have endured even after most of these wonders have ceased to exist. Before we get started, please like and subscribe. It's free and will help our channel grow and allow us to bring you more interesting content. Let us explore the seven wonders of the ancient world, as these magnificent structures have captivated people's imaginations for centuries. Each wonder has a unique story and significance. We will delve into their historical context, construction techniques, cultural importance. The first wonder. The Great Pyramid of Giza is one of the most iconic and enduring symbols of ancient Egypt. It is the oldest and largest of the three pyramids located on the Giza Plateau near Cairo. Built around 2560 BC during the reign of Pharaoh Khufu also known as Cheops, it served as his royal burial place. Here are some key facts about the Great Pyramid of Giza. The pyramid originally stood approximately 146.6 meters or 481 feet tall, making it the tallest man-made structure for over 3,800 years. It is composed of an estimated 2.3 million limestone blocks, each weighing several tons. The precision with which the blocks were cut and stacked is a testament to the advanced engineering skills of the ancient Egyptians. The pyramid was constructed as a grand tomb for Pharaoh Khufu. It was believed to safeguard his body and belongings for the afterlife and ensure his eternal reign as a divine ruler. The pyramid's design incorporates intricate passageways, chambers, and corridors. The pyramid contains three main chambers, the king's chamber, the queen's chamber, and the subterranean chamber. The king's chamber houses a granite sarcophagus, although it was found empty by explorers. The purpose of the queen's chamber remains a subject of debate among researchers. The Great Pyramid's base is aligned almost precisely with the cardinal points of the compass. It exhibits a remarkable understanding of astronomy and geometry. The pyramid's orientation towards certain celestial alignments, such as the North Pole Star and the Solstices, suggests a connection to ancient Egyptian cosmology. The Great Pyramid of Giza is the last surviving wonder of the ancient world. It has fascinated people throughout history, inspiring countless theories and speculations about its construction methods, purpose, and potential hidden chambers. Today, the Great Pyramid of Giza remains a popular tourist attraction, drawing visitors from around the world who marvel at its immense size, architectural brilliance, and enigmatic aura. The Second Wonder the Hanging Gardens of Babylon is an ancient wonder often described as one of the most remarkable feats of engineering and horticulture in antiquity. While there is debate about their existence and precise location, historical accounts attribute the gardens to the Neo-Babylonian King Nebuchadnezzar II, who ruled in the 6th century BC. Here's what we know about the Hanging Gardens of Babylon. The gardens were said to be an ascending series of tiered terraces or platforms filled with lush greenery, plants, and trees. They were constructed to resemble a mountain or elevated landscape, with the vegetation cascading down the different levels. The gardens were built as a lavish gift from King Nebuchadnezzar II to his wife, Queen Amethyst. According to some accounts, the queen, who came from a region known for its green mountains, longed for the sight of natural beauty in the flat Mesopotamian landscape. The gardens were intended to recreate that picturesque scenery. The challenge of watering the extensive gardens in a desert environment was overcome through sophisticated hydraulic engineering. It is believed that an intricate system of canals, water wheels, and pumps was used to lift water from the Euphrates River and distribute it throughout the terraces. The Hanging Gardens of Babylon were celebrated as one of the seven wonders of the ancient world, renowned for their exceptional beauty and opulence. They were regarded as a testament to the power and wealth of the Babylonian Empire. Despite their legendary status, no archaeological evidence confirming the garden's existence has been found. It is possible that they were exaggerated or simply lost to time. However, their enduring legacy in literature, art, and historical accounts continues to captivate the imagination, making the Hanging Gardens of Babylon a fascinating enigma from the past. The Third Wonder The statue of Zeus at Olympia was an ancient wonder of the world renowned for its grandeur and craftsmanship. Created by the Greek sculptor Phidias around 435 BC, it stood within the Temple of Zeus in the Sanctuary of Olympia. Here are some key details about the statue of Zeus. The statue was colossal, measuring approximately 13 meters or 42 feet in height. It was crafted from a wooden frame covered in ivory plates and adorned with gold leaf, giving it a lifelike appearance. Zeus was depicted seated on a magnificent throne, holding a scepter in one hand and a statue of Nike, the goddess of victory 
in the other. The statue embodied the might and majesty of Zeus, the king of the Greek gods. It conveyed a sense of power and divine authority, reflecting the religious beliefs and reverence of the ancient Greeks towards their deities. The statue exhibited exquisite attention to detail. Zeus's face was characterized by a serene expression, while his hair and beard were delicately sculpted. His robe featured intricate patterns and designs, adding to the overall opulence of the artwork. The statue of Zeus was considered a significant symbol of religious devotion and a testament to Greek artistic and engineering achievements. It attracted pilgrims and visitors from across the ancient world who came to admire its beauty and pay homage to Zeus. Unfortunately, the original statue no longer exists. It was likely destroyed or lost during a fire in the 5th century AD. Nevertheless, the statue of Zeus remains an iconic representation of the artistic brilliance and cultural heritage of ancient Greece, inspiring awe and admiration to this day. The Fourth Wonder The Temple of Artemis at Ephesus, located near the modern-day town of Selçuk in Turkey, was one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. Built in the 6th century BC, it was dedicated to the Greek goddess Artemis or known as Diana in Roman mythology, who was revered as the goddess of hunting, wilderness, and fertility. Here's some facts about the Temple of Artemis. The temple was an extraordinary architectural achievement of its time. It featured a grandiose design with ionic columns supporting its massive structure. The temple measured approximately 115 meters or 377 feet long, with 127 columns standing at a height of about 20 meters or 65 feet. These columns were intricately carved and adorned with sculptural reliefs. The Temple of Artemis at Ephesus was more than just a place of worship. It served as a center for religious rituals, festivals, and cultural gatherings. Artemis was a prominent deity in the Greek pantheon, and her temple attracted numerous pilgrims and visitors from far and wide. The temple faced several incidents of destruction throughout its existence. The first recorded destruction occurred in 356 BC when a man named Herostratus set fire to the temple, seeking fame. It was later rebuilt on a grander scale by Alexander the Great and his successors. However, the temple ultimately fell into disrepair and was finally destroyed by invading Goths in the 3rd century AD. The ruins of the Temple of Artemis were rediscovered during archaeological excavations in the 19th century. Fragments of the original structure and its decorative elements, such as statues and reliefs, have been unearthed and are now displayed in museums. The Temple of Artemis at Ephesus represented the height of ancient Greek architectural and artistic achievement. Its significance in religious and cultural contexts, combined with its magnificent scale and design, solidified its place among the wonders of the ancient world. The Fifth Wonder The Mausoleum at Halicarnassus, also known as the Tomb of Mausolus, was a magnificent ancient structure located in the city of Halicarnassus, which is present-day Bodrum in Turkey. It was built during the mid-4th century BC as a grand mausoleum to honor Mausolus, the ruler of Caria. The mausoleum was designed by Greek architect Satyros and Pythias in a unique blend of architectural styles, including Greek, Egyptian, and Near Eastern influences. It stood on a high platform and featured a rectangular base adorned with sculptural reliefs. Above the base were several tiers, each adorned with columns, statues, and decorative friezes. At the top, there was a stepped pyramid roof crowned with a chariot statue. The mausoleum at Halicarnassus was an impressive structure, standing at an estimated height of around 45 meters or 148 feet. Its elaborate decorations, including sculptural reliefs and statues, added to its grandeur and artistic beauty. The mausoleum was not only a monument to Mausolus, but also a symbol of his power and achievements. It became renowned as an exemplary architectural masterpiece and served as an inspiration for subsequent mausoleums and grand structures. The term, mausoleum, itself originates from the mausoleum at Halicarnassus, highlighting its influence on subsequent funerary architecture. Despite suffering damage from earthquakes, the mausoleum remained a significant landmark for centuries. However, it gradually fell into ruin, and its remains were later repurposed for other structures. Today, only fragments and pieces of the mausoleum at Halicarnassus survive. Some of these artifacts can be found in the British Museum in London. Although the mausoleum's original splendor is mostly lost, its historical significance as one of the seven wonders of the ancient world, and its influence on architectural styles continue to captivate scholars and enthusiasts alike. The Sixth Wonder The Colossus of Rhodes was a colossal statue located in the ancient city of Rhodes in Greece. 
Erected in the 3rd century BC, it was one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. The statue was built to commemorate the successful defense of Rhodes against a siege by Demetrius I of Maston. It depicted the Greek sun god Aelios, symbolizing the island's connection to the sun. The Colossus stood at the entrance of the harbor, greeting incoming ships. The statue was an impressive feat of engineering for its time. It was crafted from iron framework and covered in bronze plates. According to historical accounts, it stood about 33 meters, 108 feet, tall, making it one of the tallest statues of the ancient world. The Colossus of Rhodes stood for only a few decades. In 226 BC, a powerful earthquake struck Rhodes, causing significant damage to the statue. The statue reportedly snapped at the knees and collapsed. The ruins lay on the ground for centuries until they were eventually dismantled and sold as scrap metal by invading armies. Despite its relatively short existence, the Colossus of Rhodes left a lasting impact on art and culture. Its impressive size and iconic status as a symbol of power and resilience became legendary. The image of the Colossus inspired many artistic representations, including coins and paintings, and it continues to capture the imagination of people to this day. While the Colossus of Rhodes no longer exists, its historical significance as one of the seven wonders of the ancient world, and its enduring legacy as an iconic statue have made it a subject of fascination and wonder throughout history. The Seventh Wonder The Lighthouse of Alexandria, also known as the Pharos of Alexandria, was an ancient marvel located on the island of Pharos in Alexandria, Egypt. Built during the reign of Ptolemy II in the 3rd century BC, it was one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. Here's some information about the Lighthouse of Alexandria. The lighthouse served as a navigational aid for ships entering the bustling port of Alexandria. Its primary function was to guide sailors and warn them of the treacherous coastline and shallow waters. It emitted a bright light from its beacon, which could be seen from great distances. The lighthouse of Alexandria was an architectural masterpiece. It was constructed on a rectangular base with a tall tower rising from it. The tower was divided into three levels, a square bottom, an octagonal middle section, and a circular top portion. At the very top, there was a statue, often believed to be of the sea god Poseidon or the sun god Aeos, holding a torch. The lighthouse was primarily made of limestone blocks, but its upper sections were adorned with marble and bronze. The polished white stones and gleaming metalwork added to its grandeur and made it visible from afar. The lighthouse of Alexandria was estimated to be around 120 to 137 meters, 394 to 450 feet tall, making it one of the tallest man-made structures of its time. Its architecture incorporated several innovative features, including a system of mirrors and polished metal plates to reflect sunlight during the day and a large fire at night to create a bright beacon. The lighthouse stood for several centuries and became an iconic symbol of Alexandria. Unfortunately, it was damaged by a series of earthquakes in the 14th century AD, leading to its eventual collapse. Today, the remnants of the lighthouse are submerged in the Mediterranean Sea, but its historical significance and influence on subsequent lighthouse designs endure. The lighthouse of Alexandria represented the ingenuity and engineering prowess of the ancient world. Its role in guiding sailors and its striking architecture solidified its place as one of the most impressive structures of its time, and a lasting wonder in human history. And there you have it, seven architectural wonders of the ancient world. Although most now are lost to history, these magnificent monuments still capture our imagination. These wonders were truly extraordinary as they are a testament to human ingenuity and endure in the imaginations of mankind.